Hello everyone, I want to say thanks a lot for 800 subscribers, it's a big achievement, thanks a lot. Today's vlog is Langham, but Driver King's doing it for me as he asked me to do it. So sit back, relax, watch Driver King's vlog and hope you enjoy it. Thanks for 800 again, bye. Just like him, just sub him. Yeah, yeah, jump 21. What's up YouTubers, today's Yahia Champ 21 I'm back with another video Except this isn't really Yahia Champ 21 This is Driver King and I'm going to be filming for him since Yahia couldn't make it today So the place that we are filming today is... As you can probably tell where it says Welcome... Uh, hold on Welcome to Langham Don't know if you can see it back to the front or not but Anyways, so Langham is a place in Dumfries and Galloway and just waiting on this truck going by and it's a very small town. You're surprised to see it's a town after all this, but anyways, not much else I can say, so let's get into the video then. Guys, we have now came across our first place that we're visiting. It is called the Biclou Centre, that's how you spell it there if you don't know how to spell it. And you've got a very nice spike here full of all these flowers. Uh, I've been to this place twice despite knowing this place uh, off the back of my hand. Uh, it's kind of like a town hall kind of thing. It's not like a stage and everything in there. Uh, this I think used to be a water fountain. Uh, and then we've got a big map of Dumfries and Galloway here. Uh, you can pause it for a closer look. And yeah, so we're not going to hang out around here for long since there's quite a lot of people here. But yeah, let's move to our next place. And we have now arrived at Thomas Telford Bridge, which is on the Thomas Telford Road, which was, of course, designed by Thomas Telford himself. Uh, this is a very famous bridge uh, because of course it was made by Thomas Telford, he made a lot of uh, roads and bridges in Scotland uh, So maybe roads and bridges that you've been on in Scotland Maybe could have been built by Thomas Telford, who knows But anyway, so I'm going to have a quick look at the other side In two seconds And this is what it looks like at the other side not really much, there's a bouncy bridge that we'll go over to in a minute or later in the video and yeah, so right now we're going to go over to that park over there see you there Right guys, we have now arrived at the park uh, so yeah, it's actually been done up since the last time we came here. Uh, that's the Thomas Telford Bridge over there that was on earlier. And yeah, so I'm going to go down to the stones just there in a minute. And yeah, so let's see how we go on. Let's see how much fun I have. So we are now on the beach next to the park and as you can see we've got some piles of stones Oops, there's a small one there and then another one, a bigger one here and now I think I'm just going to skin some stones, see how we get on Right, let's try skin a stone then It bounced twice but it didn't go very far Another one There we go Another one. Nah, it didn't work that time. I just noticed the tide's like really low today. And that there is a river that I can practically walk through with just shoes on. No. Nope. Need to get down low for this one. Uh, oh, it bounced, but not far. No bounce. Guys, yeah, I'm actually kind of bored of skimming stones already. Let's see how far I can go with this rock. 
Oh, uh, hit the other side. Oh well. I'm going to throw it up one, but this time I'm going to throw it down the river so you can see actually how far it goes. Eh, uh, kind of far. I'll do another one. Oh, I almost hit the dock too dark, sorry. Guys, I'm actually starting to sweat just by skimming stones and throwing rocks about. It is about 25 degrees here, so yeah, I'm going to just continue since, yeah, it's kind of wasting time. Anyway, so I'll see you at our next location, which is the Old Church in Langham, and I'll see you when we get so there. Way to the Old Langham Church is over that bridge where uh, I can't actually do much filming in this area since this place is really busy today. I mean, I'm not surprised, to be honest. Uh, I didn't think the weather was going to be so warm today, but yeah, let's just see how we get on. Okay, so I'm just walking over this bridge, and then uh, look at this. Look at this fantastic view of the town. Just look at it. All the people in the park there, and then you've got another church there that's uh, still under maintenance with the scaffolding you can see you can see right up the hills there as well but yeah we're gonna go to the older church and we'll be there in two minutes guys i can't actually find the old church i i do apologize but then i think because it's got the word old in it means it's probably been knocked down uh, i think it's where it used to be where this house is right here but Anyway, so we're going to continue down this walkway here and I'm just going to put it in time lapse. So, yeah, I do apologise about not finding the old church. So I've now just came across this horse racing track which I forgot there's actually going to be racing uh, uh, on here in two days time, well two days after I'm recording this, and so there's another bridge over there that takes you back into town and then I don't know where that path takes you to. Uh, so you've got rugby pitch and a football pitch over there. Um, which actually reminds me if I forgot to show you Lion Cricket Club before I started doing the time lapse. Uh, so I'm going to take this clock away to get back over there and I'll see you when we get to the rugby club. Okay guys, I've just realised that I came across the Cricket Club. Uh, I've been along here once. Uh, over there was where I just filmed uh, you. I just filmed the uh, horse racing track. And so yeah, this is a cricket club. I've been here once uh, to see them in training and yeah. Well, I've been into that bit over there. Just ignore the dogs playing with each other. And yeah, so now I'm going to go to the rugby club, which is a way over there. And I'll see you when we get there. So we have finally arrived at the Lion Cricket Club. It's taken more than half an hour for me to get here because I took a wrong turn and that led into disaster. So oh, I'm absolutely sweating. Uh, so we're going to go into to towards the pitch and see what it's like from there. So this is the pitch here and we've got a stand over there. Also we have some people playing rugby as well uh, we've got another two rugby posts over there and there although i think the ones used on match days are not put up 
and there's certainly no marking lines and also this place has got a caravan site. Right now we've got to walk back to where I originally was uh, when I was at that re horse racing track so I'll see you when we get there. Finally made it back to where I was. It is roasting. Okay, so now we are making our way back into the, uh, the town. Uh, we just crossed over this uh, big bridge here, which goes over a river called the River Esk. <clears throat> which goes to this place called Estelle Muir, which is a way up that way, about say 20 miles that way. And you've probably never heard of these places, but anyways, this is the Jubilee Bridge, opened by the Duke of Gloucester on 14th of May 2002. So it's only about 19 years old, this bridge. Uh, so, I mean, it's it looks kind of newer than the rest of them. But anyways, we are now making our way to the end of the bridge. And we've got a primary school and academy coming up. And then I will show you them once we get closer. Okay, guys, so this is the Langham Primary School. I uh, can't actually get into the school there because there's a big fence in the way. But it looks like a really good school. And then we've got this big pitch here. People from Langham, Ac Langham Academy will use it. And uh, Langham also have a junior football team. Can't remember their name. It's Estale Community, something like that, I think. Anyways, it looks like it hasn't been used in ages just because of how good it looks, how good the condition is in. But yeah, I'm going to go around to the other side and then I'm going to film the academy and I will see you there. Right guys, so I've actually made it to one end of the pitch and I am relieved to actually get some shade. Uh, so we are not going down this way, I don't know where it goes. I've only been down it once and it was years ago. So we're just going to continue along the way that I know of, uh, just towards the rest of the town. But yeah, I'll see you when we make it to the other side. Oh, we've also got this wee thing. It's like a village but on the ground. I don't know what it is, but where is it there? Right, I'll see you when we make it to the other side. Look at that view. It is absolutely amazing, that view of the hill. You can even see the Langham Monument there, the big thing that's on top of the hill right there. I don't know what it's meant for, I think it's like a memorial, but it's like, it'll take like an hour and a half for me to walk up there, so I'm definitely not going up there since, I've, since I'm not like as fast as a flash for anyone, or I've not got unlimited time, but yeah, just look at that amazing view. So here is what the front of the primary school looks like, in fact you've also got a nursery there. Uh, so yeah, it's just a big car park and... It says something behind this white van there. Es Eskdale Sports and Leisure Centre. Uh, I guess that's a sports centre there. I've never been in there before, but anyways, that's the academy there. And we'll just see in two seconds. But we have the old primary school here. It's been up for sale for years, but it's never been bought. But yeah, I'll show you the academy in two seconds. So this is what the academy looks like. You'd actually be surprised to hear that it only has about 200 pupils going there per year. Which is kind of weird since it really should be about 1,000. But I mean, it, Langham is basically in the middle of a valley in the middle of nowhere. The next place is actually like right across the road, which is the Bowling Green, the Langham Bowling Green, which is right opposite the academy. 
and I don't know what else to say but we'll, I'll see you when we get to our next place. So we have now arrived at our next place which is an upper park at Langham along with the church. And I'm going to quickly go see these and then there's a war memorial there as well so I'll see you when we get there. Ok guys so we've now arrived at the Langham Parish Church. Uh, as you can see it has got scaffolding on it like we saw earlier. In fact the one we saw earlier is... where is it? I can't find it now. Yeah it's a way over there behind the tree. I don't know if you can see it anyway so I don't actually know what that is but... We'll see it later. Just going to take a walk around uh, this church, and then we'll head to the park, and then the war memorial. And yes, yeah, so let's go have a look around the church. So we have got gates here preventing us from going in uh, round it, unfortunately, and it's padlocked off. So I'm not going to go over it because it's kind of vandalism. But we'll just go around the wall. Just go around the church around the wall. It's actually a really big church. It's it actually looks more like a cathedral than a church to be honest. And we've got another church over there. We've got so many churches here. Anyways, but I'm not gonna film that one. Well, I just did there, but I'm gonna walk around this one. Looks like we've got steps over there or yeah. Or something like that, but let's go see the other side of the church if we can get around there. In fact, I don't actually know if we can get down there. It does lead right to the river, the river Esk. scaffolding from here and then there's actually a bridge for vehicles to come on to uh, the church premises but I'll see you when we get to the other side of the church so it looks like that there's a bridge for cars and that to go over to get into the church and yeah I'm just gonna go back around now and uh, yeah there's not much more to fill the church but I'll see you when we get back around there just going to do a bit of skimming my over there's a beach here and I don't actually know what, what that is. It's not a submarine of course since it's way too uh, shallow for it to be a submarine. Anyway, so let's try some skimming off stones then. There we go. So it looks like that this actually used to be a... Uh, I don't actually know what it used to be, I was going to say like a water fountain for the public to drink. Anyways, I don't know, but uh, over there we have uh, a war memorial, which we can't access because there's a gate there. But that's pretty much all you can see. Uh, so now I'm just going to go and chill in the park for a bit because I'm really tired. Okay guys, I've had enough of the park. Uh, we're going to visit the main part of town now. And yeah, I'll see you when we get there. Now this is disappointing. I was originally going to take this bridge to get over to the other side. But then the way into the church is open, so it looks like I'm going to have to go the long way around T Thomas Telford Road. This is what I was talking about earlier, don't actually know what it is, but yeah, we're going to continue towards the main part of town. So this is the Crown Hotel. Uh, there's three or four hotels in Langham and I've decided to film this one. And yeah, it looks like a really good hotel. It looks like you told about eight to ten rooms or something like that, I don't know, but let's move on. Okay, so actually this place here with the big clock is the Langham Town Hall. 
Now, I thought for the clues then to was Langton Hill, but apparently it's not. So, I don't know what the differences uh, are between the two, apart from the building. I mean, like, uh, what happens in there anyway, so... I'll go move on to the next place then. So, it looks like we've got another more memorial here in order, in honour of Admiral Sir Piltenny Malcolm, GCB, GCMG, born February 21st, uh, blah blah blah. Anyways, uh, so, looks like he's a hero, don't know what he's a hero for, but then over here, we have this thing about Neil Armstrong when he visited Lyon. Uh, he was the first ever person to land on the moon and pause uh, the video to see more information about this stuff. And then we've also got stuff about the Langham Library again, pause to see all the information. And this is the library here, which is basically the town hall. But anyways, now I'm going to visit the golf club and I will see you when we get there. Guys, just while I'm on my way to the golf club, I've got some information about it here. Uh, just pause the video for a closer look. Guys, I'm just taking a wee rest here at the top of the hill, but look at this amazing view of the town. How good is that? I mean, this is probably the best view I've got all day, and it's probably well worth it. I mean, that is just such an amazing view of all the houses and that. Just look at it, you can see all the way up the hill as well. Anyway, so I'm going to have my break and then I'm going to make my way to the golf course, which will be our last place uh, to vlog in Langham. So I'll see you when we get there. So guys, we have finally arrived at the golf club. It's taken ages to get here, I'm literally out of breath. I'm going to show you the view from that step thing up there and then that will be me and then I'll see you when we get there. Don't know if you can hear the bells, but it's five o'clock now. Uh, I'm actually going to finish up here. I can't go up to that bit over there because there's people playing golf there. So we're going to have to end the video here. I'm out of breath. I've been going for about four and a half hours without a drink or anything to eat. So when we started the video, that was about half past one I started it, it's now five o'clock. I'm so thirsty guys. Uh, I'm just going to head to home now. Uh, please like and subscribe, share this video to all your friends and yeah most importantly subscribe to Driver King, link will be in the description and yes so that's all I can really film so please like, comment, share, subscribe and then I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Just like, um, just, subscribe. um, it's yeah, 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 I'm 21.